What is happening, y'all? Welcome back. So we are gonna go and investigate that hole. Um, mainly because I want to play more with Hunter. I think I could. I think I might like Hunter a lot. But I haven't done much with it aside from like you know, spam bullets with it so far. So I want to try and get in. The bayonet has some good sweeping attacks on it. Basically, I'm going to just, uh, we're going to fight our way back to the hole. I'll go down in the hole. The other, th the big thing holding me off is I don't really want to level up a lost bayonet. I feel like there's going to be way, way better stuff that I'll gain access to probably soon. Also, I have a bunch of things I could use to unlock more potential um, with Hunter, but I like looked at one of them for a second. I noticed it's like a whole uh, cutscene thing that you go through, kind of how we did with uh, I'm getting 400 damage for that. Unless something's weak to. So I like that I can do that for th stuff that's more powerful, not otherwise. That thing's really cool. Sasuke, or it will be a my Takai to Koroa, Daijoka. Oh, God, I almost just. Fucking myself. The thing that's weird is this seems like it would be like a, I don't know, almost like a dungeon? <laughs> Things just floating because I'm going downward. It's a little goofy. Doesn't move, just perfectly still. Alright. There's a hell of a hole. Let's see what's inside. Frame rate down here is getting a little janky. What the hell is this? この霧の中を突っ切っていけってか。迷子にならないといいが。いった。ここで休憩を取ろう。ああ、これか。握り飯って言ってな。携帯食の一種だ。まあ、レブナントが飯を食ったところで何の意味もないんだけどな。血に乾くことはあっても腹が減ることはない。でも、だからこそ食うことに意味がある。戦って血をすすって殺されて生き返ってまた戦って、俺たちの日常は簡単に言えばこの繰り返しだ。ただその度に忘れちまいそうになる。
もし俺が人間だった頃のことを完全に忘れちまったとしたらそれはもう俺じゃない俺の姿をした何かだ外見はレブナントでも中身はロストと変わらないそれじゃ意味がないだろ俺はレブナントになる前軍隊に所属していたんだが任務ではいつもこいつを食っててなまあ思い出の味ってやつだクソみたいな毎日だったが忘れちゃいけない大切な仲間がたくさんいた大してうまくもないんだがこの味はあいつらの顔を思い出させてくれる<笑>つまりこいつは俺が俺らしくあるために欠かせない心強い相棒ってわけだ準備完了だなそろそろ行こうこの先に血類の泉がある so maybe I was supposed to go this way instead of the butterfly この霧だ一度はぐれたら二度と合流できないと思え Area doesn't seem so bad. Stay along the edges for now. On one hand, I like that Caster has some serious nuke potential. On the other, I like that this has like a medium range mini nuke. It's all shiny over there. Alright, let me let me stay by the edge here. And I'll investigate the shinies after. Oh, wait, this place opens up. Bogged down everywhere, man. I feel like, in terms of straight progress, that this would be more effective than Caster. Oh shit, that's a big boy.
Assassin. Optimal for melee combat. Features gifts that are great for a surprise attack. Damn. I don't know where the hell we are at, but there's some cool shit down here. Ow. Oh shit, I can charge it for a shotgun blast? It uses up two, but it also like doubles the damage. That's really nice. Oh, hell yeah. Much to be mapped. Oh my god, we mapped like the whole thing. Alright, well, let's go get the loot that we missed now that we have a map. Internet. I think I mentioned it before, but like obviously I don't need to. You know, there's nothing that's that's making me commit to Ranger or Caster or Berserker. Like they're all viable. <clears throat> it's just that this early on. You know, if I'm gonna start investing stuff, um, I want to make sure I'm investing in already. something I'm gonna use. Because if I'm playing as if I'm playing as uh, Berserker, Zweihander needs to get the levels. If I'm playing as uh, playing as Ranger, it's going to be a bayonet. So far, though, I am liking Ranger. This is this is uh, GXM variant three. Uh, this adds a ton of mines, so it's like a cast cloak, basically. And it gives me a ton of damage. My mobility with one weapon goes up to slow, but I'm normal. On the other one, it weighs more. Gifts light, stronger gifts dark are not. And support gifts. I mean, my damage goes up a lot here. I, I think this is... It's worthwhile for me. Um, it's my... This is Dex Mind Willpower. This is E Dex D Willpower. See, this has Dex Mind and Willpower. Wait a minute. My Drain Attack. Was it strictly talking about my drain attack and not my regular attack? Physical 326. Oh shit, I'm stupid. That's the, uh, that's, that's my actual attack. My, uh, this thing. It has nothing to do with my weapon. Alright. So, hang on, where do I see... Attack 207. If I were to go to this, still 207. What the shit? Because when I see stat scaling, I figure this is going to be, you know, like, oh, I'm going to want to wear a blood veil that complements that, but. This, which shows my drain attack going way up and me getting less. Some CB there. My willpower is plummeting. But my, uh. My sheet DPS for weapon is the same. I'm never gonna use it anyway. 
I was supposed to. I don't know. It's a little confusing to me. I'm gonna need some. I do like the claw better for parrying. It's the claw you can actually do a reaction parry with. Um, before I do all... Oh no, this looks like this This is working around to where I came in, so I'll just keep going this way. Oh, sorry, there's a whole like second half to this place that I haven't uncovered yet. Jesus Christ, this thing is huge. Like I should finish off the uh Finish exploring this zone, then. Then I'll check that out. I think I'd rather if I could um old drain. I feel like it'd be better to have A just be my combo attack. It's just weird that you have to middle of your combo you're tapping the right bumper work it in you know that worked out assassin vestige this is gonna burn away the miasma Serve to brighten your way. Uh, okay. Don't know how the fire is going to brighten my way, but I'll take it.
come back soon. Would've been nice to have on the boss. So I think we've done all of this. There's that mistal over there. There's the chest we opened. Alright, let's go look at the second half of this area. It's already at 20 minutes, but I'll go a little bit longer. The guy's voice is so off-putting. Holy shit. I just noticed my Iker. Food. 23,000? It's a shitload. Alright. Um, so looking at this place where clearly there's more to it. I don't know how much more, but I have a feeling it goes on for a good bit. How that fire helps light my way. I feel like it doesn't. Uh, but anyway, we're going to wrap this one up here and we'll tackle the second half of Underground Mistland in the next part. And I'll probably play through the zone as a caster to see how that feels because playing as Hunter did feel really good. So stay tuned and I'll catch you all then.